right so uh, three not uh, for uh, rama last one it's total okay rama so we have three departments so what what do you think which department the company they need to make decision about it the first department means or women's or accessories men women's okay now it's clear okay so the company they will make decision drop or do not drop not for department men's or department women's because department of men uh, men's and women's the net income it is what a profit the net income profit so our decision will be go for the net income loss okay so for department women's we have profit for the department means we have a profit so our problem we are in accessories accessories we have what profit or loss so rama you will you will change your answer or you will keep it as it is So Rama, which department we will go to uh, make decision? Okay. So at first you will decide which which department you will make decision. So we will we will make decision about department accessories. Okay, why? Because we have we have what we have loss. So the quick answer the quick answer if you go to see what's the amount of sales revenue in accessories department. Okay, and what is the amount of cost in this in same department? This is a quick answer, okay? Yes, yes, I'm I'm HD. So one thousand eighty. So here your decision. Now you will compare you have what revenue revenue sales revenue how much the sales revenue hundred thousand this is the amount of sales revenue so sales revenue now greater than a save cost or less than saving cost less than so when the sales revenue less than saving cost so your decision go to drop or do not drop here your decision your your decision here here your decision okay so saving cost lost revenue now it is less than cost saving because a revenue thousand okay revenue thousand hundred thousand and the cost saving what the cost saving one eighteen thousand okay so when the saving cost a greater than the revenue sales means you will go to a drop 
क्लियर so here as you see here he find the avoidable cost avoidable cost fixed cost variable cost total amount 118000 okay and sales revenue 100000 so <coughs> the company net income will be increased by by 18,000 by 18,000 so you will make decision to uh, drop this department okay okay VC so exercise number two here please take care about the note under the question this note okay do you see where I mentioned? This is the three lines here, okay? Please, when you need to go to answer, read it. So here, what he said, he said, we need the required, we need to make decision. So, which department we will go to drop? A, B, C. Which department? Direct you will go to department loss net income. Okay. Direct your, you will go to, uh, to department B. So why? Because they have loss. And his require and second, second, he will say about the fixed cost if the fixed cost one forty eight what avoidable. Okay, and here in the mutton here in the not he said what for fixed cost eighty six thousand what okay for avoidable he mentioned here decided to drop then it can then very well avoid variable cost full variable cost and for fixed cost he will avoid what only eighty six thousand okay we see so in our questions we need to make two answers the first answer fixed cost avoidable only 86000 okay and second answer i will make all fixed and uh, fixed cost avoidable so here what is the amount of revenue loss require number 1 what is the amount of the Sales revenue loss, yes, Farah, three hundred fourteen thousand. And what is the amount of cost saving? And please, my student, when he said for variable cost, you will take variable cost. Quick answer, okay? So variable cost, it will be avoidable, direct, okay? So don't make any any calculate for variable cost variable cost you will take all variable cost but you need care about fixed cost sometimes he will go 
and he will tell you fixed cost all fixed cost will be avoidable and sometimes he will he will make or he will tell you part of fixed cost avoidable okay but about variable cost it, you will take all variable cost okay because variable cost it's avoidable cost so here uh, amira and uh, who said who said who said farah he said 314 000. this is the revenue loss okay so and we need to decide it now what's the amount of cost saving cost saving Amira okay so the cost saving will be one sixty nine thousand a plus what a plus eighty six thousand eighty six thousand من وين جاءت الايش مين اللي بيسال خلود من وين جاءت الايش الافويدبل فيكس كوست هير يا خلود هي سيد هير كيكس ديسايدز تو دروب ذن ات كان فيري ويل افويد فيرابل كوست ان فول اند فيكس كوست هي سيد افويدبل 86000 اوكي خلود So now, what is the amount? What is the amount cost saving? Total amount for cost saving? Two hundred fifty-five thousand. So two hundred fifty-five thousand. Amira, two hundred fifty-five. It is what? It is saving cost. So now our 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 compare three hundred fourteen thousand. Okay, with what? This is what? Saving uh, revenue loss with 255,000. This is our compare. So now, now, cost uh, sales revenue or lost revenue greater than cost saving or less than <clears throat> so here revenue loss will be greater than cost saving We will say, Sheikh Ahmed, we will say, do not drop. Okay, Sheikh Ahmed. Because a lost revenue, yes, do not drop, Ahmed, okay? So, because a lost revenue greater than a cost saving. When lost revenue greater than a cost saving, do not drop. Clear?
So now we will go to second require. He asked about the total cost will be what? Unavoidable. So <coughs> here means we will take all fixed cost. We will take all fixed cost. Okay. So now what is the amount cost saving? Cost saving, you will say cost saving will be 169,000. A plus a total fixed cost one forty eight thousand. So, what is the total amount for uh, cost saving? Three hundred seventeen. So now three hundred seventeen. This is the cost we will compare with three hundred fourteen thousand. Three hundred fourteen thousand. This is what? This is the revenue and cost saving 317,000. 317,000. Okay. So what's the, your decision will be? Now, cost saving, it is greater than or less than revenue. When the cost saving greater than Revenue loss, we will what? Yes, revenue less than, so we will go to drop. Okay. This is the second decision for this chapter. Actually, I already uh, prepare for record this uh, lecture, okay? <coughs> Just when the finish, uh, I will send by mail the link for this uh, recording, okay? Because now our procedures to record our lectures from the Adobe Connect. So, second decision, it's clear? And week we will go to may prepare a revision, okay? A revision for midterm and revision for final exam. See, this is the answer. See here, this is part A, part A, require A, and also here, answer for part require a B. Okay? We will, we will take a chapter, chapter 7.2 now. Just, we have last decision after complete last decision we will go direct to seven part two okay for don't worry we will we will uh, complete seven part two and we will discuss about all your questions don't worry about exam it will be more more easily okay just i talk i talk i discuss with some gcc and uh, uh, not in this course, in other course, but uh, uh, actually will be will be more more easy. Okay, will be more easy. Don't worry. Okay, now we will go to decision three. Decision three, as you know, sometimes the company, the organizations have limiting factors, such as have limiting, for example, machine hours, limiting factors, uh, raw material limiting, uh, <clears throat> labor limiting, okay? And you know, some uh, company, they product 
for example, multi products, not for one products. Okay, so our decision here. If the company, for example, have two or three products and also have limiting factors. So we need to decide which the product will be give more than or they will give a greater uh, profit. So our decision, we need to decide which the product you will give you will uh, find the high profit so your decision by the contribution margin bear limiting factors so where is the highest where's the product give you contribution margin bear limiting factor highest means this is your decisions mean you will go to product for example a product number one and you will what you will not go to product number two okay so your decision will be depend on the contribution margin bear limiting factors okay bear limiting factors Please one minute, uh, dear student, okay? One minute, I will come back. Okay, so so now we <coughs> we decided about uh, how we can make decision when you have limiting factors. So you need to find what you need to find contribution margin bear limiting factors. Okay. <coughs> and this is the examples about the constraints or about the limiting factors sometimes the this will be uh, limiting factors for company so here we will go to our exercise so he said we have two products yes and you have a price and you have variable cost and the company has how many hours hello how many hours machine <coughs> yes 15000 hours machine okay and for a product standards how many by 15,000 units he can product no standard unit he can product by 15,000 70 okay so for art 
he can buy 15,000 model okay and for deluxe model how many 30 models okay okay for <coughs> so now we need to find the first contribution margin how we can find the contribution margin Yes, Fuad. So, contribution margin for standards will be how much? <coughs> Four. And which product you find? And for deluxe will be nine. okay after you find after you find the contribution margin per unit After you find the contribution margin per unit, so you will go to multiply, you will go to multiply by unit proceed each machine hours. Okay, so for machine hours for for uh, standards, we will we will what we can we can product healthy and for deluxe 30 so here what we will say contribution margin for standards 20 minus 16 will be 4 4 multiply what 4 multiply yes 70 and for deluxe we will say 9 multiply what 30 okay 9 multiply 30 so <coughs> 4 multiply 70, 280, and 9 multiply 30, 270. So the our decision will be depend on the higher contribution margin bear limiting factors. clear <coughs> so your decision go to which department has the sort water Has the water sort for what? Clear voice. <coughs> okay. So now your decision will be with with depend on the higher contribution margin bear limiting factors. So contribution margin for standards 
280 and for the looks 270 so now we will go to decided to go to product standard or deluxe we will go to product standards clear Clear VC. Also here you you have exercise number two, same treatment. Exercise number three, same treatment. Okay. So exercise number two. If you want to go to exercise number two, same. We have a price. We have variable cost. Price minus variable cost. You will have contribution margin 60 minus 38 how much 22 22 multiply multiply 5 22 multiply what will be contribution margin amira will be contribution margin bear limiting factor okay and for second uh, product 135 minus 135 minus 62 the result will be contribution margin contribution margin multiply 3 the result will be what the result will be what contribution margin bear limiting factors so the first will be 22 multiply 5 110 and second 73 multiply 3 219 so your decision will be go which brand so with the brand the first or second brand yes will go to protect second brand okay clear Okay, so now we will go to uh, part two, and part two also it's an important chapter in the final exam. <coughs> part two, we will discuss about budgeting and planning, okay, about planning budgeting, okay. So we'll discuss about how we can uh, prepare budgeting. <coughs> Before preparing budgeting, sometimes the uh, in last exam or the previous exams in the final, uh, slide number four, slide number five, number six was in the <coughs> in the final exam as a theoretical question okay so uh, be not theoretical question will be from chapter number four and chapter seven part two okay chapter seven part two and chapter four theoretical question will be from this chapters okay so chapter uh, seven part two slide number four slide number three uh, five six this sometimes will be in the theoretical question okay so he discussed about what's the importance of uh, budgeting and how we make control about budgeting so and also 
what's the objective of budget what's the objective of budget okay so we have multiple objectives for budgeting as we can planning we can coordinators we can have uh, control we can also <coughs> forecasting this is the objective of budget so we can because what's the means by budget what's the means budget dear student So, the budgeting grammar is not a budget, okay? Budget. Okay? So, what's the means budget? Means it is planning, forecasting, okay? It's forecasting for future or for past. We will go to prepare budget means we will go to planning, okay? We will go to forecasting. So, Budget, it is what relative with future. So the budget, it is it is planning. Okay. So for by this, uh, when you go to planning budget, so means you will go to forecastings. Means you can make uh, control because when you planning or when you prepare budget. Also, you will compare with what budget it's standard cost and you will we will go to uh, make compare with what with the actual cost. OK, because the planning cost, the planning or budgeting, it is standard cost. And when you finish, you will go to find the amount of what uh, actual cost. So you can make control you can make compare between the actual cost with the standard cost and you can find where's the variance and you can also deci decide if this variance it's positive or if it's what negative okay so please go through the the for this theoretical okay so for this theoretical please go through it and also we have res responsibility accounting responsibility accounting means you need to to make report about who has responsibility okay who has responsibility so for responsibility accounting we have four centers we have four centers okay we have center cost center we have revenue centers we have also what uh, investment center and profit center okay so responsibility accounting means you need to decide who has responsibility about this uh, cost so we will divide the centers to four centers center for cost center for revenue center for investment and center for profit and for each center we have we have manager so this manager his responsibility will be under this center okay and also you know for classification cost we have type of classification cost we we said Cost, uh, control or under control cost okay so when the cost under your control means it is under your uh, uh, <coughs> control so it will be not under your responsibility so this is for responsibility we have four centers and please go through it because maybe you will get 
theoretical question from this uh, topic. Now we will go to budget. We will start from the uh, master budget. Master budget, as you know, it will be starting from which budget? <clears throat> Master budget will be start from the from the sales budget from the sales budget. So now, how you can prepare sales budget? Sales budget. Hello. Sales budget. You can prepare sales budget. Just unit to be sold. Multiply price ceiling <clears throat> okay we see for sales budget just number unit to be sold multiply price per unit okay so <clears throat> here we have exercise here what he he will go to prepare uh, first quarter divided for uh, his budget to four quarters okay first quarters it will be start from 500 tablet okay 500 tablet and he said for each quarter it will be increased by 50 so quarter first quarter 500 tablets second quarter how many tablet yes third Yes, Fuad. Okay, so we will go to prepare sales budget. So he said first quarter 500 units to be sold, second 550, third 600, and fourth will go to what? To prepare 700, uh, 650. Okay, so and what he said for price he said for price for price each tablet how many 500 dollars so the sales price the sales budget will be just sold unit uh, unit to be sold multiply price okay so first quarters how many units 500 price how many 500 dollars so 500 multiply 500 dollars second quarter 550 multiply 500 dollars third quarter 600 multiply 500 dollars last quarter 650 multiply 500 so this is the amount 250 275 300 325 this is the amount what sales Clear. <clears throat> okay. After that, we will go to production budget. We go. We will go to production budget. Production budget. This is the format for production budget. Production budget. You will start from the unit to be sold. Be careful. For production budget, you will start from the unit to be sold. So means you will take this amount okay you will take this amount for production unit okay 500 550 600 650 okay so when you go to prepare production so you will start from the unit to be sold after that you will add the ending inventory 
minus beginning inventory so you will get what you will get what is the amount you need to product okay what is the amount you need to product so this is the format for production budget unit to be sold plus the ending inventory minus the ending inventory the beginning inventory you will get the unit to be what unit need to product okay we have also exercise okay vc with me okay so now we have exercise about production budget so here you you will go to work by how many years he asked you about prepare production for which year about year of 17 okay so year of 17 sometimes you will get information from year of 16 and information from year of 18 okay uh, of 17 okay so here what he said he said finishing goods inventory balance 55 okay in december december 2016 okay 2016 we have we have inventory balance 55 dollars so this inventory balance in end of the december 2016 will be what will be what Yes, will be beginning inventory. Yes, Sheikh Ahmed will be beginning inventory for 2017. Okay, for 2017. And here, what he said, he said ending inventory, <coughs> ending inventory will be 20 percent of the next quarter sales. So here we have quarter sales this is the quarter sales 500 550 600 650 okay so an ending inventory 110 120 130 140 from where from where he said ending inventory this message ending inventory will be 20 percent of the next quarter sales so if i will go to quarter first quarter so i will to when i will find the ending inventory for first quarter 110 how we get 110 so he said second quarter's amount to be sold how many units 550 550 multiply 550 550 multiply what multiply 20 by 20 you will get 110 and also for second quarters 600 600 multiply what multiply 20 percent also so you will get what you will get 120 okay and third quarter third quarter 600 multiply 20 percent you will get 130 clear
clear VC? Okay. Okay, so now my question for 140, how he get 140 for the last quarter? So, for last quarter, ending inventory for last quarter, and beginning inventory for first quarter, you will get message. Okay? You will get message. So, his message for fourth quarter, what he said, <clears throat> what he said, he said in the first quarter in 2018, first quarter in 2018, you need to be sold how many? How many units to be sold? 700. 700 multiply 20%, so you will get 140. Clear? Okay. And for the beginning inventory, we know <clears throat> ending inventory in the first ending inventory in the first quarter, 110, 110 will be what? Will be will be beginning inventory for second quarter. So 110 will be here, 110. And 120 will be first or will be beginning for third quarter. And 130 will be beginning for the fourth quarter. And 200, this is 200, you will get message about first quarter, beginning first quarter and ending last quarter. So now just to calculate 500 plus 110 minus 200 so the product you need to product in the first uh, quarter 410 units and second for 560 550 plus 120 minus 110 third quarter 600 plus 130 Minus 120, 610. Fourth quarter, 650 plus 140 minus 130, 660. This is unit you need to be product. <coughs> okay. And this is calculate how you get the inventory, ending inventory. You have also exercise number two, you can go through it. Now I will go to important budget because this is will be in the, also on the final exam. So we will go to cash budget. We will go to cash budget. So how we can prepare cash budget? Okay, expected, but how? We will, when you go to prepare cash budget, so you need how many numbers? You need three items, okay? When you go to prepare cash budget, you need to find three items. 
First item, you need to know what is the amount of cash at the beginning period or at the beginning of month, okay? And cash at the beginning period <coughs> plus total amount of cash received minus total amount of cash payment, okay? So budget for cash for each quarter or for each month you will go to find what you will go to find what's the amount of cash at beginning period plus cash and um, total amount for cash received minus total amount of cash payment so you will get what for add you will get the cash at ending period period sometimes quarter sometimes month sometimes years okay Okay, now we have example. We have here uh, sales, September, October, November, December, and cash sales, 20% sales and remaining 80%. Okay, and this is what this is. Okay, beginning, beginning balance at beginning period balance. At beginning period or at beginning a plus total cash receive minus total cash payment okay for what so here the company in September, what's the amount of sales in September? What's the amount of sales in September? 50,000. What's the amount in October? 80. November, 100. Okay. And December, 120. He said, in the same month, he will he will what he will collect twenty percent. So means twenty percent will be what will be cash sales. Okay, will be what cash sales. Okay, if you see, 50,000 Okay, this is the amount Amount of sales It is divided to Okay, and 80% What? Credit clear, so 
50 multiply 20 how much 10,000 will be what this is the sales of cash clear <coughs> okay okay and 40 40,000 it is what it is a credit so now what is the what is the policy for a credit what's the policy for a credit the policy for a credit as he mentioned as he mentioned credit 60 percent in the same month and the 25 in the next in the month following and 50 in the second month following what this means Sixty twenty-five fifteen. 15 okay this is in which month this is in month september okay okay we see this is in month of september clear so 40 40 thousand will be divided will be divided for how many months will be divided for, for three months okay in the same month he will get how much 60 percent it's the same month means month of september and following sales month he will get 25 percent percent clear vc and the month of <coughs> third month 15 uh, 15 percent clear now clear so 40 multiply 60 40 multiply 25 40 multiply 15 okay so here he divided the cash sales and the cash credit cash as we work and here he asked you about cash collections okay collection schedule here cash collection schedule for fourth quarter so the September, we say September, what's the amount of uh, cash sales in September collection? He said 10,000 for September, 16,000. From where 16? Sixteen thousand from where? You will say from 80,000 multiply 20 percent okay and november hundred thousand multiply 20 percent twenty thousand and december one twenty thousand multiply twenty twenty four so now 10 16 20 24 clear yes okay after that we will go to credit sales so for september credit sales for september we see it for september we have credit sales total amount of credit sales 40 okay from where 40 from 50 multiply 80 <coughs> 50 multiply 80 so 40 okay but 40 we will divide it to how many percent 40 <coughs> how many percent we will divide it 40 credit sales we will divide it to three percents okay we will divide it to three percents clear <coughs> So 
60, 25, 15. So here 24, from where? From 40, multiply 60. 40, multiply 60, you will get a 24 in September. And following month, we will say 40 multiply what? Multiply 25. So you will get you will get 10. And number uh, month of November 40 multiply what? Multiply 15. Okay. 40 in November uh, September 40 <coughs> multiply multiply 60 percent okay and October also 40 multiply 25 percent and November 40 multiply 15 percent So clear? After that, we will go to October. October 60. Four from where? From 64 from where? From 80 multiply 80 percent. This is 64 from where? 80. Okay, 80 multiply 8 percent. So 64 from where? Now 64, we will divide it same to 3 percent. So in the same month, 60 percent, following month, 25, and the following will be also 15 percent. After divided all uh, credit sales for all months, you need to find the total collections. Okay? <clears throat> so for September, Total collection will be 34. For October, 64, 400. November, 90. And uh, December, what's the amount of December? 111,200. Okay, 111,200. Clear? <clears throat> okay. After that, we will go to prepare to prepare cash budget. Cash budget. So we said for cash budget, you need three items. You need what? You need the cash at opening or at beginning period. For what? You ask about this, okay? Cash at beginning balance, 40. From where 40? 40 from where? You will get message about this amount. So you will go back to question. Here what he said, cash balance in the first October expected 40,000. So now 40, it's clear from where? No, not credit sales, uh, Remisha. It is message here. Remisha, it is not from credit sales. With me, it is message in your question. Okay? So he's, he mentioned here, October expected 40. Not this, yeah, Remisha, not this Remisha, okay? Okay? So, we will put it at beginning 40. So, 40 plus what? Plus the total amount of cash collection in October month. You will go back for cash collection schedule. October, 
how much the amount of October total collection in October how much 64 yes in the question yeah Manisha it will be mentioned in the question yeah Manisha okay Remisha okay 64 400 ya yeah, amira okay 64 400 a plus plus cash beginning so 40 plus 64 so the total cash inflow will be 104400 104400 clear so now we will go to find the total amount of cash payment we we also we will get note about the cash payment he said for cash out of law for october here for october what he said for october cash expense for october a twelve thousand and cash purchases for october sixty two thousand so what is the total amount of cash out of law or cash payment total amount for october a twelve plus sixty two so here cash in the flow one hundred four thousand four hundred minus what minus the total amount the cash payment or the cash out of law the cash out of law how much total amount 74 so 104,400 minus 74 so you will get 300 for 300 uh, 30,400 <coughs> clear vc <coughs> now we will go to next month next month november so please here the ending balance in october will be shifting to beginning balance in november clear so thirty thousand four hundred ending balance in october will be beginning balance for november clear Okay, so 30,400, it's clear from where? And 90,000 from where? From the first schedule, schedule of collection of November. What's the amount of November collection? 90, okay? So 30,400 plus 90 will be 120,400, okay? 120,400 minus the cash out of law. The cash out of law here you can find cash out of law for November 40, 14,075. 14 and 75. So you will see here 120,400. Minus 75 minus 14, so total amount of cash out of flow 89, so 12400 minus 89, so the ending cash for November will be 31400. 31400 also same treatment will be shifting in December and you can continue us. Okay. Because he asked you about the prepare cash balance for prepare, he asked you, uh, Rama, prepare cash budget for October 
اكتوبر تو ديسمبر تو ديسمبر اوكي اوكي يا راما هي didnt ask you about سبتمبر هي ask you about the last quarter last quarter اكتوبر نوفمبر ديسمبر اوكي سو يو كان اولسو يو ويل جو ثرو يو هاف انذر اكسرسايز يو كان go through exercise if you have any questions you can ask me okay اوكي اختبار المد شو مال اختبار المد يا فؤاد <تصفيق> لحد الان يا فؤاد بالنسبه للاختبار المد يسترداي اي سنت ميل to GCC still he didn't reply but I have note from other GCC it will be same same exam he will send another focus topic and also he will inform about the kind of the questions about the to his mail the final the final راح يكون نفس الموعد the final راح يكون نفس الموعد okay على نفس السكاجول لأنه اليوم حتى الوزارة التعليم اليوم وزارة التعليم بعثت إنه الفاينل إكزام على نفس السكاجول ما في أي تغيير الجزء الأول من المحاضرة داخل معاً مش فاهم يا روان الاختبارات طبعاً ممكن راح تكون أسهل أسهل الاختبار الميتير والفاينل ممكن يكون أسهل من الطبيعي السكاجول فور فاينل اكزام سكاجول يو كان فايند ات ان ويب سايت ويب سايت اتس اوريدي ان ويب سايت يونيفرس ممكن يكون اسهل من الواجب نعم خلال 24 ساعه لازم التسليم يعني راح يجيك الواجب هو نفس الواجب راح يجيك الاختبار على الاي ام اس بتنزله مثل ما بتنزل الواجب اوكي وبتفتحه معك 24 ساعه ما نفس الشيء ممكن ما يكون ممكن يكون في ميك اب بس اتوقع ما راح يسوي ميك اب لانه انت معك 24 ساعه فممكن تنزليه وتحلي خلال ساعتين ثلاثه اختبار وخلال ساعتين ثلاثه ثانيه اختبار اوكي لغاية الآن احتمال ما يكون في ميك اب اكزام لأنه انت معك 24 ساعة ما في تايم لا الاوبن 24 اورز اوبن الأسئلة مو مني يا روان من الجي سي سي من الكويت Twenty-four, 
22 هاي الفاينل انهار السكاجول بالنسبة للميد تيرم السكاجول مثل ما بتعرفوا 15 ابريل اوكي ببلش اوكي 15 ابريل ببلش الاختبارات انت بدك تدخل على السكاجول الموجود عندك وتشوف متى موعد الاختبار لا يا الملف تفتحيه بتنزليه عندك على الديسكتوب يا صافي اوكي يعني بتسوي مو مثل الكويز لا لا مو مثل الكويز بتسوي له داونلود وبضل عندك على الديسكتوب الفاينل نفس الطريقه تقريبا والاعاده تحميل الملف في نفس اليوم اوكي مو مشكلة لأنه أنت عندك 24 ساعة صافي آه زي الواجب ترجع بتحمل الملف زي الواجب المحاضرة الجاية إن شاء الله راح نسوي ريفيجن للمتر والفاينل والله ما بعرف هل هو في له عداد بعد انه من من تاريخ ممكن هو لا من نفس اليوم الاختبار يا نهار ما اتوقع انه في عداد تايمر انه من متى تسوي الداونلود هو اتوقع انه بتاريخ معين مثلا اختبارك فور اكزامبل 16 ابريل 16 ابريل انت بتسوي داونلود ولازم خلال 16 ابريل قبل ما تصير الساعه 12 بالليل ما تصير يعني 17 لازم تسلم يعني ما تتعدى اليوم الفاينل يا زين موجود على الويب سايت تبع اليونيفرستي ادخل على الهوم على الهوم بيج لليونيفرستي مش الاي ام اس ولا الاس اي اس ادخل على موقع الجامعه وفي عندك السكاج ولا الاكزام <تصفيق> 